Hello everyone! Today I have a very interesting video for you guys. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sonia, I'm Italian and I am married to my American husband, Brian. I love to travel and I spend a lot of time thinking about different cultures, differences between people from different countries. It's like a hobby of mine, I love it. I've already made a few videos about differences between Italy, America and international relationships but today I have some very interesting deep level differences between Italy and America so I think you will really really enjoy this video first of all let me say that I am a bit generalizing because it's impossible to make a video about differences without generalizing everybody's different but I think most people will agree so let's start the first difference I've called it saving money. I've noticed that, generally speaking, if uh, an American earns 10, they tend to spend 9 or maybe even 10. You know, you spend what you make. So even your life standards will get higher. Like, you earn 10, your life standard is 10. In Italy, usually, you earn 10, you spend 7 or 6. Even though you earn 10, your life standard is 6 or 7 and you want to save money. I'm sure there must be some important like historical reason or you know the economy, unemployment, I don't know, there must be some reason behind this but I think it's very very interesting and I am totally Italian like okay I earn 10 I want to spend 7 and Brian sometimes is a little more American like oh Sonia but you earn 10 so if you spend 10 you're good and I'm like how is that good? Like, no savings. I don't know, it's, um, it's very interesting. It can be a problem if you are in an international relationship because, you know, money, people fight a lot over money. We don't because I feel like we found a good compromise. Like, maybe Brian wants to spend nine and I want to spend seven. We spend seven. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Maybe seven and a half. I'm just kidding. We found our own balance. Difference number two, this is very interesting too. I called it how much influence you have on your own future. You've probably heard that movie where the parents tell the children you can become anything you want in your future. If you work hard, you can become the president of the United States of America. I feel like in Italy, usually it's the mentality, it's a little different. My parents have always encouraged me, but they always kept it, I don't want to say kept it real because even the American point of view can be real, so I don't know, but in Italy it's more like probably you can do anything you want, but you also have to be lucky and a lot of things need to go the way they're supposed to and blah blah blah. I feel like most people in Italy don't truly believe that you can be anything you want. Probably we think that we have to work hard and we, of course, we shouldn't give up, but we have to be lucky, we have to know someone. But in America, you're really, really like the owner of your own future. And this is good and this is bad. So I feel like sometimes if you have an American mentality, you can put a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure on yourself. Because if you don't succeed, you feel like you did something wrong. Like, because why didn't I become president of the United States? And in Italy, it's more like if you don't succeed, well, you tried hard, good job, uh, you made it this far. That's that's really good but maybe you were unlucky but on the other hand if you're too Italian you might not even try so maybe you might become the president of the United States but you don't believe you can do it and so you don't even try so I think we should find a good good balance very interesting think about it the third difference I called it job stability I feel like in America since they have more jobs, there's more employment definitely compared to Italy. So I know right now this is not the best moment for America, but in general, still, there's more employment. So I feel like there's more job hopping in America compared to Italy. In Italy, it's like really hard to get a job. So if you get a job, you don't, you don't want to quit usually. And also in Italy, there are a lot of rules. So it's really hard to get laid off. In order to get fired, you would have to do something really big or the company, you know, the company needs to prove that they can fire you because it's not easy at all to get fired. I think in America, it's a little bit easier to get laid off. 
I'm not really 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 good at this topic so probably a lot of you guys know more about this so let's move on to the next point I called it independence from family this is probably not a surprise most Italians are spoiled <laughs> I feel like our parents don't really push us to leave the family to leave the nest no actually a lot of parents are like but why would we want to leave your nest just stay with us and be with us and we are a big family until you're 50 yeah no it's like I'm exaggerating but kind of in America I've met a lot of Americans who told me like oh no I couldn't wait for my kids to become independent and I was happy when they went to college and yay well weren't you sad didn't you cry I feel like I would be more Italian mm. I don't know pros and cons on one hand you're always dependent and you feel like you owe your parents a lot but it's also nice to be spoiled so pros and cons I'm not judging last difference for today punctuality and planning if you plan to go out with your friends in America usually you pick a place and then you pick a time and you have the place and time and you meet there on time in Italy it's usually like hey guys do you want to hang out on Friday night yes okay cool see you on Friday and then it's Friday evening and you still don't know where you'll go and what time and I think it's very stressful for Brian because it's like where are we going and I feel him because I'm more American I like to know where we're going and what time and I'm also very very punctual but I'm used to living in Italy so I don't really get mad he gets frustrated like the other day we had to go out for a jog with my uncle and he said let's meet at 7 15 and it was like 7 25 I was totally chilling because you know just 10 minutes and Brian was like where is he where is he and I was like I don't know he'll probably contact us when he's ready yeah well we were late we ended up going out at like 8 that's Italy for you <laughs> guys I really hope you enjoyed this video I really like to share all these things like these details deep level differences between Italians and Americans. Leave a comment below if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. See ya!